So it was a welcome back home for the Denver Pioneers after two games on the road, and a nice crowd was here to greet you. Hoops and Education Day for those people that were watching on the stream. Amazing atmosphere to see and an amazing atmosphere to experience. What's it like to coach in, in this type of atmosphere? Uh, oh, it's it's fun. Um, it's a lot harder to, 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 to shout out your instructions to your team. They're so loud. And don't get me wrong, I really appreciate the enthusiasm, but, you know, these kids, they, they don't know when to yell and when not to. So sometimes uh, it, it, it makes it tough on the players' communication, our communication, but, but it also, more importantly, gives us energy, and that's what, that's what we need. Definitely feeding off the energy. It's a great opportunity for the students to come here, yep. see Denver Pioneers basketball, learn in the process. I enjoyed what you said to the fans at the start of the game because you told them how to cheer for a three-pointer and you told Lauren Lovin, come over, yeah. shoot the three. She made it, and it seemed like from then she was ready to go. <laughs> a 31-point game for yeah. her. It it's, it's great to see that touch. What was working, not necessarily for her shot, but also off the ball to set up some of those points. Well, she, she was a lot more active today. Um, we, uh, quite honestly... Um, our, our motion offense wasn't too smooth, but the thing Lauren did is she kept moving. And then once we knew, okay, Lauren's got it going today, I should have known it when I pulled her out and she hit that, uh, we ran a lot of sets for her. And I did think we executed our sets very, very well. We got to improve on our motion offense, but our sets were very good. And, and then she, you know, it's one thing to run a play for a kid, but be able to make the shot too. So I'm very happy for Lauren. She's, um, I'm glad she's on our team. <laughs> That's an understatement <laughs> to say. Yep. Uh, and, and the other senior, Madison Nelson, another double-double for her. So Lauren gets it going from the outside. What was Madison Nelson's inside game like? Well, she did her typical rebounding. She was fantastic, very active on the boards. But quite honestly, I think you, you've watched her enough. She missed a lot of point-blank shots that she normally didn't do. Now, I'll give uh, Southern Utah credit because they were really aggressive down low, and they made it tough on, on um, all our post players to score down low. Um, but, you know, what can you say? She gets a double-double every time. She's got a huge motor, and she's another one. I'm glad she's on our team. It sounds great. Yeah. And, and to refer to a 15-rebound game is, is, is typical. That, yeah. that really says something. For her. She, she's up in the top 10 in the country uh, yeah. in, in rebounding. This Southern Utah team went down to the wire when you played in Cedar City, Utah last year. From last year to this year, what, what was this game like compared to last year's down to the wire well, game? Well, last year we had a lead and we just about blew it. If that game would have lasted another two minutes, we probably would have lost it. But here, I felt like the same thing was going to happen. So that to me was the difference. Uh, I thought when we needed a guard uh, in the last two and a half, three minutes, we did. And I think we wore them down. You know, some of their three-point shots late in the game, I think were just off a little bit because they were tired. And uh, so I'm just happy that uh, we were able to finish the game. You know, that's a big thing. We finished it so much better this year than last year. So getting the finish to now put you on the good side of 500, 6 and 5, a winning way. With a big week ahead, what's in store this coming week? It's going to be a unique week for Denver women's basketball. Yeah, we're supposed to practice tomorrow but before we leave town for Puerto Rico. But I'm thinking about take, getting the day off because, those, you know, we had a lot of kids play a lot of minutes. Um, yeah, Madison played 35. Bree played almost 35. That's a lot. That's too many minutes. But, um, you know, we're going to tomorrow we're, we'll have practice. And then um, we, we're having a Christmas party. We have a little get together, kind of like a family. And then, um, you know, we leave the next day early in the morning for Puerto Rico. We're excited about it. And I, I plan this trip for our seniors because when I came in, these are the girls that stuck with me and stuck with the system and, and believed in the system. So I wanted to reward them with a cool trip. So it's going to be cool because a lot of our families are going to be there, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to have two games but also an extended trip. So what do you want to get out of this type of trip? Not necessarily just in terms of getting a couple yeah, of wins, but, right. but what do you want to accomplish? Well, um, to me, it's all about family. I mean, we got our team that's a family, and then, and then there's going to be a lot of family members around. It's, it's kind of a bond where everybody gets on the same page. You know, like in high school basketball, sometimes you have, the, you have the team, you have the coaches, and you have the parents. You know, this opportunity for us to come together and, uh, and believe in one common goal, and it leads right up into the conference play. And, and um, so that's what we're, do that's what we're going to do is we're trying to build that, that close-knit group uh, we, we've been bidding all year, but a trip like this will re really bring you together right before conference. What are some of the off-the-court activities that, that you planned or just going to – I mean, it's a pretty good setting to show up and yeah. figure it out too. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be embarrassed because uh, Coach Penny, he has something planned for us. I don't even know what it is. We're doing that uh, 
on one of the first days we're there. And then the, the last day when we don't play, uh, it's kind of a family day. I told them they're going to be on their own. Uh, we'll give them their per diem. They'll get like $35. That's NCAA, and, and they'll, they'll do their own thing. I imagine I could just – they're probably going to be on the beach. And what a way to spend Christmas. You have your swimsuit packed as well? No. You will not <laughs> see Coach Turgeon in a swimsuit. You might see him in a shorts and a T-shirt, but no swimsuit for Coach Turgeon. Well, Seth, uh, who, who's from DU Sports Communication, he'll be there to document whatever <laughs> happens um, well, if, if it does. I'm excited about it, and, and uh, we're actually going to have one of the, uh, the players film uh, personal stuff, and then we're going to have Coach Allen uh, afterwards put it all together, and so it's like a storybook. Um, so that's, I probably should have said that earlier, but that's one of the things we're going to do. Well, that's something that we'll, if we can't sneak our way to, to <laughs> San Juan, we'll be following from here. Okay. The two games, the trip, and then Summit League play. This is our last chance to talk to you before Summit League play starts. So where are we at? Are we ready to go for, for Summit League play? Honestly, I don't know because um, one thing I wanted to fix this preseason is our, our, uh, how we play on the road. Um, we're just not quite there yet. Um, these games in Puerto Rico are going to be a neutral game, but hopefully we can pretend like it's a road game and, and build something from that. But um, the, the conference is going to be tough. You know, South Dakota is just incredible this year. I think they're ranked 23rd in the country, 22nd, 21, I don't know. Uh, South Dakota State is right there. And then, I mean, and then all of them, all the rest of the teams, they could beat you on a given night. So um, we're, we're almost ready. We'll be ready after Puerto Rico. Well, games like this whet our appetite for what's ahead. So thank you, Coach. We want to wish you well, wish you a great trip to Puerto Rico, wish you a, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays to, to the whole team, and look forward to seeing you back here in Hamilton, Jim, when Summit League play starts. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate everybody's support, and I, and I wish everybody a safe uh, Merry Christmas. Perfect words to end on. Thank you, Coach. Thank you all for tuning in to Denver's 81-73 to victory against Southern Utah. And now off to Puerto Rico. Have a wonderful trip, Coach. Thank you.